That's a little better. Hi, baby. Do you want me, you want to lay on me? Mm, he missed me. I just got home. Did you miss mama? Mm. So I actually wanted to come on here and talk to you guys because I just got a comment on Snapchat. Like somebody sent me a message and it just threw me off and it really confused me. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you guys because this is actually a topic that I've been seeing a lot on social media and I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and maybe help you guys um, understand. Hold on. I do this because I'm, I'm trying to correct the lighting. Come on, lighting. I hate when the lighting looks kind of blue, but hopefully it'll be fine. So let me share the comment that this lady sent me. So she said, and I'm not going to like share her name or anything, but all right. So this lady said, you make people look at life that they have to be beautiful. And that's so not it. I really like you, Melissa, but your videos and snaps make people want to look like you. And if they do, they can be worthy. That's just not it. I pray that I am just one in the bunch that feels like this. You have millions of followers and happy for you. You have millions of followers and I'm happy for you that you reach that many people. But please remember that people who follow you like my kids, you need to be more real. At least for the kids. They think they can watch your videos and snaps and be just like you. That's not reality. They have to be them and she capitalized them. I am a fan of yours, but when my kids start seeing something different than what I see, that's a big concern for me. I'm going to stop following you and my girls will too after a long talk with them. This comment totally threw me off and confused me because if I may defend myself, um, I do not go out of my way to make it seem like I have this amazing life. I don't go out of my way to make it seem like I'm perfect, like I'm rich, like I'm this or that. I simply come on here and I am truly myself. Like I don't know how to be anything else. I show you guys the high moments in my life. I show you guys the difficult moments in my life. I show you guys when I look a hot, sweaty mess. I show you guys when I'm not wearing makeup which is 90 percent of the time and i show you guys when i put myself together and when i film a makeup tutorial and I, I i just share whatever's happening in my life and i don't go out of my way to make it seem like i'm better off or or i don't make it seem like you should do what i do in order to be worthy in life which is what she said that i'm making it seem like if somebody doesn't look like me or or act like me that they aren't worthy and she doesn't want her kids to feel that way and I wouldn't want anyone to feel that way either. And I think this is a new, this is definitely a new topic that a lot of parents now are going to start talking to their kids about. Because when I was growing up, there was no social media, like there was barely internet. So this is definitely something new and something that's very relevant right now. And something that I will have to talk to my future kids as well, because a lot of people um i think social media has made a lot of people feel self-conscious and made them feel like they need to live life a certain way or look a certain way in order to be happy and in order to be popular which is not the case at all and i can totally i can i can totally see why that affects kids especially and even adults like sometimes maybe you'll look at someone and you're like oh how does she go on vacation every week and how does she look like this like how does she get those things and you have to remember that everyone on Instagram and YouTube and like everyone on social media, especially Instagram, because Instagram is you, you put your best foot forward on Instagram. Like you, you want to post beautiful photos. That's what Instagram is about. It's a photo app, but people, when they look people, when they post on social media, like Instagram, they're putting the best version of themselves. So you can't drive yourself crazy and think I have to look like that, or I have to be like that, or she's has the most perfect life and I need to be that way. Um, and it also reading that comment, it made me really sad because it's so obvious that this lady and other people as well, like social media is making them feel so self-conscious and, and lowering their self-esteem. And that's so sad. Like I never want anyone to feel that way. I never want them to feel that because they don't buy the same things as me or they don't have the same features as me that they're not worthy because that's not it at all like that would like if somebody told me that in person like i think i would start crying because that is just so so sad and to be honest like her comment threw me off but it also made me feel bad for her because i want 
her and people like that to work on themselves and to learn themselves because if you go on instagram and some what someone posts makes you mad like if somebody posts like they got a new bag or somebody posts that they went on vacation or they went shopping or they post pretty photos of like their kids or their home and it upsets you and you think like oh she shouldn't post that because like it's not fair like not everyone can do that it's not that person's fault that they're posting what they consider to be beautiful photos and sharing beautiful parts of their life you have to take a step back and, and ask yourself like why am i upset that this person looks like they have a beautiful life why why would it upset you to to view someone's so-called beautiful life or perfect life and no, nobody has the most perfect beautiful life whatsoever i don't care what anybody says nobody has a perfect life but if it bothers you you it's a problem that you have within yourself of self-esteem and you have to work on that and i have been working like i have spent my entire life working on my self-esteem and i've gotten to a point where i feel really confident and i love myself and i love my life as imperfect as it is i love my life every single day even when difficult things happen i start to focus on what the positive parts of my life are instead of focusing on like oh everything is going wrong so i don't know like the the best advice i can give you if you're going through something like that is like if you're feeling that way over social media is to start doing things that are going to bring confidence back into your life like working out for me gives me confidence it clears my mind it it, it makes me happy um going for walks with my dog something as little as that it makes me so happy getting going to dinner with friends makes me happy i say affirmations in the morning um i'm gonna start tweeting my affirmations so maybe you guys could say the affirmations that i'm saying as well and maybe that will help um but yeah i really really love affirmations i listen to a lot of audiobooks i read a lot of self-help books like i do my best to stay positive to grow as a human being and to make sure that i always feel really confident i always have that love for myself because you do have to love yourself before you can love anyone else um and basically that's the best advice i can give you because that's what i do and for the part that she says like i have to keep in mind her kids and like i sh i have to be careful i really don't and when i have kids of my own i don't need anybody online to raise my kids i don't need anybody online to act a certain way in order so for my kids to feel good it's my job and it's your job as a parent to raise your kids in the way you feel fit and to instill certain values and morals into your kids that you think are important the same way my my parents have raised me like i do not envy other people's lives because my parents didn't raise me that way and they my parents have always spoken to me about material things and how it's not important like my parents have just instilled certain values in me and not just by telling me but by their actions that i admire and that i want to be more like so it's your job as a parent to make sure that your kids don't feel less than because of whatever they're seeing online because it's not just online but it could be like what their friends are doing or what other relatives are doing like maybe some of their cousins or whatever they live life a little differently so it's your job as a parent to make sure that they that they know the difference between what's important and what's not in life and you know just things like that in general but um yeah i i i have so much to say on this topic and i'm kind of glad that she sent me that comment because i did want to speak about this um especially because we're such a heavy social media world and you you have to not let those things get in the way of your happiness you can't let someone's pretty photo get in the way of your happiness because it's just a photo at the end of the day it doesn't mean that your life means less it doesn't mean that their life is perfect and yours is not it just means that they posted a pretty photo and that's it i don't think i'm going to post anything else on this vlog because i just want to leave it at that if you want to add anything to to this discussion i would love for you guys to comment and give your feedback and i don't want people bashing each other like just give your honest feedback like how do you feel about this social media world and placing responsibility on people who are kind of like in the spotlight whether it's celebrity or someone who just does youtube like me like how do you feel about all of it um because at the end of the day i feel and i don't know if i'm biased because i do youtube i don't because i am not a celebrity i don't consider myself a celebrity 
but a lot of people like they bash certain celebrities like i'm talking about like really big celebrities people that do movies and singers and all that stuff like they bash them and they're like oh my god you should do better because you're a role model but these people not everyone has to be a role model for your child even if your child looks up to them like you just have to control where your child sees them if you don't want them to watch a certain channel or anything but like at the end of the day people still have to live their lives i just live my life and i, I do what makes me happy and i do what i want because it's my life so um I, and, and also i don't think i do anything that crazy come on but yeah just share your opinion what you guys think and i guess this is just gonna be a chit chat vlog so thank you guys for watching this vlog i hope you guys all have an amazing week i love you and i will see you guys in the next one bye